let's go. Welcome, welcome. You move my mat over a little bit. So um, I was reading, I was reading an article in the, uh, I think it was in the Times at the weekend, and there was a personal trainer there who was the grand old age of 68, and boy, he looked really, really good for 68. But he was talking about the things that, that we can do to keep our, our bodies active as we travel from age to age and stage to stage. And one of the things he said was, um, I believe everyone should make postural exercise their number one anti-aging weapon. And he went on to say that older people, um, mature people, as he called them, I like that, mature people take smaller steps and they often look down. But he said what he's noticed now is that's not just confined to older people. And I'm sure as you're walking around, I was walking around Romsey the other day, and more and more people are taking that, that kind of old person posture, shuffling steps, looking down because they're reading their phone. And so he's saying more and more people um, at a far younger age are developing postural problems that one would expect older people to have simply because now of this, he called it the phone obsessed and shuffle. And yoga is a great um, postural exercise, if you like, so we're doing all the right things. But today, really think about the, um, we'll be doing lots to open the chest, lots to um, stretch out through the upper back and around the neck, which again, can sometimes take a little bit of a, a beating if we're sitting over a screen or we're, we're reading even, or just by the end of the day, we sometimes feel a bit like this. So a lot of ah, opening up today, but really think about your spine, um, continuing up into the neck, sometimes particularly when we come onto all fours, and I'm as guilty of this as the next person, I can think about my spine running up the middle of my back, and then I get to kind of about here and I forget, and my head starts to do this. So I'm putting a lot of pressure on my neck. So really think about the spine going all the way up, but it does right up into the, almost into the, the back of the head there. So think about that lovely length through the spine as we carry on through our practice today. So let's get moving. He also said another, another lovely thing, and I want you all to try this this week, and I've been trying it, and it's really good. He said, the best thing we can do is to walk with a spring in our step and to look up, and it instantly makes us feel better and walk younger. So there you go, walk with a spring in your step, smile on your face. Let's see if we can put a spring in our step with a nice yoga practice to set us up for the day. So coming to a comfortable seated position, never has to be cross-legged. You might want to stretch your legs out in front of you or prop yourself up against a wall, a cushion. And go ahead and just place the hands down on your knees or the floor alongside you for a moment. And we'll bring the shoulders up towards your ears. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, oh, release the shoulders all the way back down. Just turn around a little bit. So as you inhale, shrug the shoulders all the way up. And then exhale, oh, let them go. Do that a couple more times. So sometimes we don't know that we're carrying tension around our upper body until we consciously invite it in and consciously release it. So this next time, allow the shoulders to slide down your back. You can keep your hands on your knees. You can turn your palms up. You can place them in your lap, wherever it feels comfortable this morning. And go ahead and just let your chin drop down ever so slightly chin to chest. So we're creating some space in the back of the neck. But rather than slumping forwards, think about lifting your breastbone towards your chin and drawing the shoulders back and down. Softly closing the eyes for a moment so you can begin to bring your awareness and your attention inward now. Breathing all the way in and down. Drawing the breath right down into the lowermost lobes of the lungs. And exhaling out and up, letting the shoulders relax. The weight drop into your sit bones, the knees begin to release. So doing a quick check in with yourself this morning. How are you feeling? Any issues or injuries you might need to be particularly mindful of this morning? in and down before we release out and up. 
taking a little bit of conscious control over our breath, beginning to deepen and lengthen. Starting to coordinate that with a little bit of movement. So we'll just bring the hands together at your heart. Again, lifting breastbone to meet your thumbs this time. Just lifting the chin parallel to the floor, blinking the eyes open. So sitting up nice and tall as you inhale, you take the arms out to the side, slicing the little fingers back. And as you exhale, we bring the hands back to the heart. So inhale, beginning to draw the little fingers back. You can even start to lift your chin a little bit, if that feels good. And exhale, hands coming back to heart. So a couple more times, feeling that lovely opening through the chest, a little bit into the shoulders. Hands coming to heart, need a little bit of space around you as we do this. So pulling the little fingers back, stretching the chest. Lovely. Let's do that one last time. So big breath in to open. We'll bring the hands together at the heart. Starting to add on this time as you inhale, we're gonna take the arms all the way up. And as you exhale, right hand down, left arm over the top, little side bend. Push the floor away, inhale. Little tick tock over to the other side. Oh, I can feel the side ribs, one more each way. I'm doing my bar class. Woo! Valley dancers are strong. <laughs> over the top. Let's come over to the right side and pause this time. So you can tuck your chin in and look up or take the gaze down. And just bend that underneath elbow a little bit. Let it drop into your waist. And then conversely, press the floor away and see if you can bring a little bit more arcing through the body there. Beautiful. Breathing into the left side of the body. And then left hand just comes over the top of the head. And we come all the way back up. So my fingertips are just brushing my ear and gently draw your head over to the left without the body or the head dropping forward. So draw the head back. Or maybe creep your right fingertips a little further away from you. And you can stay here. You might already feel a nice stretch in your neck. Or if you want to add on, you're gonna push the palm away from you with your fingertips pointing up towards the ceiling of that right hand. And as you inhale, start to lift the right arm up. As high as feels comfortable. And exhale, keep the palm flexed as you lower. Twice more, keep sitting up nice and tall. Gently pressing your head into your hand, your hand into your head. Lovely, last time, let's reach all the way up. And then come all the way down. Let's bring both hands down alongside you. Drop your chin down towards your chest and just roll your chin along your collarbones for a moment, just to stretch into the side of the neck there. Whoa. And then look down towards your legs if they're crossed and recross them the opposite way. So we've got the other leg in front, might feel a little bit strange. Hands coming to heart, lifting breastbone, inhale, pull the arms back, open the chest. And as you exhale, bring the hands to your heart. A couple more times, so feel that more the opening as you reach the arms, maybe a little further back behind you, or they might just be level with the shoulders, whatever feels comfortable again for your shoulders today. Lovely, hands coming to heart. Let's take the arms up, take an inhale. Maybe to the left this time as we come into our side bend. Pushing the floor away, we take that little tick tock over the top, we tuck the chin in or look down again, whatever feels nice for your neck this morning. One more to the left. And one more over to the right, keeping the weight even across your sit bones. Let's come over to the left and pause there now. So arm over the top, softening into that supporting elbow so you can, again, just bend into it. And then push the floor away. So you're straightening the arm a little bit, not locking it out. So I can push my ribs over to the right a little bit more there. Getting a nice stretch down the side body. Lovely hand coming over the top of the head. So as I sit myself back up, this time my right arm is just on top of my left ear, and I'm gonna bring my head over to the side there. So again, try not to lean forward, try not to drop your head. So head is lifted, breastbone lifted as you creep the left hand away. You might just wanna stay there, that might be more than enough. We add that little flex of the wrist. And as you inhale, lift the arm up as high as feels comfortable, push the palm away and exhale, come down. So we'll do that twice more. So I'm gently pressing my head into my hand, my hand into my head. And lower down, lovely. 
stretching out through the neck, reaching up, 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 fingertips skywards. And let's bring the hand all the way down, release both hands, chin to chest. And again, just have that little roll side to side. Beautiful. And then interlacing the hands in front of you. So push the palms forwards and then all the way up to the sky. You might have a little wiggle through the side body, so you're really lengthening up through the waist, but drop the shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful, take an inhale. Exhale, we're gonna round the back as you push your palms forwards. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, drop the arms and round the back. Beautiful, one more time, take an inhale. This time as you exhale, pause there, maybe for a bit or two, just pushing the palms forward, hugging your belly button to your spine and just feeling that lovely stretch between your shoulder blades. And then we'll come all the way up and round onto all fours. So finding your way onto hands and knees by whatever way feels most comfortable for you today. Hands under your shoulders. And again, really thinking about what I said at the beginning, that the Neck is a continuation of the spine. So we're looking just beyond your fingertips as you press your hands down. A little softness in the elbows and hugging belly button up to meet your spine there, nice and supported. Coming into our cat and cow, so as you inhale, belly dips now, keep pressing into your hands as you arch. And then exhale like an angry cat, ripple that movement through the back body. Continuing that, maybe closing your eyes so you can really Make that a felt experience rather than worrying. Whether you're doing it right or what everyone else is doing, you can take your hands a little wider apart this morning if that feels good. Lovely. It's getting into the side body there. And next time you're up in that lovely angry cat position, pause there and just start to move your hips from side to side. Maybe bringing ear to shoulder. So again, we're just getting that little lateral movement through the spine, nice and gently. And wiggling your way back to your tabletop position. Take an inhale, exhale, coming into a child pose now. Walking the hands forwards, maybe up on tips of fingers and thumbs. So again, you can begin to deepen that stretch into the sides of the body, the back of the body. And try not to bring the shoulders up towards your ears. Keep hugging them down the back. And we'll come into our little floor flow. So hands flush to the floor this time. Inhaling onto all fours. Exhaling, coming down onto your tummy or just taking a little half dip if it's unavailable to come down today. Inhaling back up to all fours. And then sit back into your child pose. Exhale. Inhaling, maybe coming up with a, an angry cat of your back and then rolling your way down, feel yourself unfold. Inhale, coming back up and pushing back, child pose. Let's do that twice more if that's available. If you don't want to do that today, you can always just come up onto all fours and then back into child pose, making it a little bit less intense today. So listen to your body, seeing what feels good. Should we do one more. Oh, I'm enjoying this. This feels nice this morning just to stretch it out. We'll come back up and meet in that child pose. Lovely. Finding our way back onto all fours. This time we're going to tuck your toes under and just sit your bottom back towards your heels. Keep your hands where they are in a half dog. And again, just maybe move your bottom side to side, massage across the walls of the feet. And then walk your hands a little further back towards your knees. Now you might just want to stay here and just press your hands down and press into the balls of the feet. Or a little flow here, you're going to pick up your knees so you come into a little squat, my heels aren't touching the floor. And then drop the knees down, you can hover them or touch down. So inhale, we rock back, we'll be rounding through the back. And then exhale, we bring the knees forwards. Option, widen your knees as you come back and then bring the knees parallel as you come forwards. So a couple more, either keeping their knees together or wide, so we're getting a nice stretch into the hips. And the next time your bottom is back, maybe your knees are wide like mine. 
heels are touching, maybe try walking your arms forwards and pulling your hips back. So you're getting a nice stretch into your hips, a stretch into the kiddies, into the back. Curious little move, but it's a lovely stretch. Beautiful. Let's come back down onto all fours, keeping the toes tucked under as you bring your hands underneath your shoulders. We'll take an inhale. And as you exhale, let's find a downward dog this morning. Or you can stay on all fours and just do your cat and cow. If you're joining me in a downward dog, start to pedal out through the feet. You can even move your bottom from side to side, have a little shake of the head. Just do whatever feels good to loosen up there this morning, finding some space in the backs of the legs. And then it's all just pop a generous bend in the knees. See if you can send your rib cage back towards your thighs, pushing your bottom further up and back. You might be able to drop your heels down a little closer to the earth as you begin to straighten the legs, but kind of go easy there. Don't worry too much about that. Breathing into the back and the sides of the body there. And then from there, let's slowly take a little walk to the top of your mat into a forward fold, a little amble. And from there, bend your knees, cradle your elbows, maybe sway the body gently side to side. Oh, and I stretched out through the back of the body there. And then letting go of your elbows, roll your way up to stand. Take your time as you come all the way up. Beautiful. So we're going to come into a little sun salute flow and we'll build up. Let me just adjust there every time. We do it. So knowing that you can always drop down a level, whatever feels nice for you today. Let's start with some nice half sun salutes. Thankfully, the sun is a little bit kinder to us today than it was last week. So let's lift up through the breastbone, lengthen down through the tailbone. So again, you're standing up as tall as you can. And as you inhale, we're going to sweep the arms up and exhale, hinging forwards. Let's come down into a forward fold. Sliding the hands up to your shins, or maybe your thighs, lift up halfway, take an inhale, and exhale to release. Let's rise on an inhale again, growing a little taller, and hands coming to heart, exhale, lovely. Maybe adding a knee bend now, inhale, powering up, and then soften the knees as we come down over the legs. Lifting up halfway, pressing your hands into your shins or your thighs, and exhale to fold. Again, maybe a little knee bend to power you up. A little spring in our step, hey? Exhale, hands to heart. Last one, with or without that knee bend. A little spring. Exhale as we come all the way down. Lovely. Last time to come into your flat back. Fingertips might be on the floor if that feels good. Exhale to fold. Let's rise up last time. And hands coming down to heart. Beautiful. So let's start to build our little sun salute flow today. So feet underneath your hips, standing at the top of your mat. And reach the arms up. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, come into a chair pose. You can keep your arms up, taking them into a nice wide V shape, or you can always lower them down or even bring them to your heart. So wherever it feels comfortable. Drop the weight back into your heels. You should be able to still see your toes and even lift your toes, such as the distribution of plates. Now from here, imagine you're on a little ski jump. So you're gonna bring the arms all the way forwards and reach back with the palms facing each other and then rise back up, straightening the legs, taking inhale. Exhale into that chair pose with that little ski jump, reaching the arms back. Lovely. Inhale, rising up nice and tall. And exhale, sweep the arms back. I've never been skiing, so I'm assuming this is a ski position. <laughs> I might be wrong, inhaling up. This time as you exhale, come down into that little ski. Option to stay there or interlace the hands behind you. Keep the knees bent and come down over the legs. Arms come up and over. If that's not for your shoulders today, you can always bring your hands down in front of you and come into a forward fold. Lovely. Those of you in your ski jump, bring the hands onto your low back. And we'll all rise on an inhale, coming all the way back up. Straight back down into a forward fold. Exhale. Let's lift up halfway, take an inhale. This time as you exhale, slide or step right leg back and bring the knee down. Flatten your toes. Sweep the arms up over the chest, take a nice breath in. 
and breathing out, release. So again, that little swing of the arms. Inhale, reaching up nice and tall. And exhale, release. Last time, press into that front foot. Rise on up before we let the arms fall. This time we'll come all the way up. Place the hands above your head and drop the chin down so you can stop the hands behind the head or just bring your fingertips to your temple. Then lift your chin, pull the elbows back, option to stay there, or allow your head to drop into your hands and open up through the chest. Keep those elbows drawing back, keep the breath nice and steady. Lovely. And then we'll reach both arms up, take an inhale, and exhale, come all the way down. Pick up the back knee, and as you inhale, step back into plank or all fours. And as you exhale, knees down, chest down. Coming into your sphinx pose, so sliding your elbows underneath your shoulders, so your forearms and your palms are flat to the floor and parallel. Imagine you're drawing the elbows back to the rib cage, lengthen out through the toes and drop the weight into the pelvis. Lovely. So chin parallel to the floor, take an inhale. As you exhale, just look over your right shoulder. Press into your left elbow, inhale to center. Exhale, look to the left. Press a little bit more deeply into your right elbow. Inhale to center. Look to the right, and this time heel to bottom. Right heel comes in with a flex foot. And exhale, come back through the middle. Left heel coming in as you look over your left shoulder. And release. We do one more each way. So is your chest still lifted? Is your breastbone still lifted? And the weight dropping down into your hips. Coming all the way back through the middle. You're gonna widen the elbows, come all the way down. Hands under shoulders, push back all fours, take an inhale. And as you exhale, come back up into your downward facing dog. Or you can stay on all fours. If you're in that downward dog, maybe again, a little playful movement here. Before you find that stillness of pressing your hips up and back as you stretch the arms forwards. And then bending your right knee as you inhale, float the right leg up. And as you exhale, step or help it forwards, top of the mat, lower the back knee. Flatten the toes. And as you inhale, reach both arms up, so on the other leg. And exhale, release the arms. So inhale, reaching up, you can pull those thumbs back. And exhale to release the arms down, lovely. One more time, push the floor away, big breath in. And big breath out, ready for that interlace. So sweep the arms up, we're gonna interlace the hands above the head. So either, you can always bring your fingertips to your temple if you can't bring the hands behind your head. And then lifting the chin, draw the elbows back, maybe dropping the head into the hands. Supporting the weight of your head there. Then we'll reach the arms up, take an inhale, and exhale, hands come down. Stepping to the top of your mat as you inhale, and exhale to fold. Let's bend the knees, rise up to stand, big breath in. Hands coming to heart, exhale, beautiful. So before we add on, which is gonna include a little bit of balance, let's see how balance is today. Just by picking up your right heel, option one, we stay here, and we just circle the knee on the ball of the foot. Or if you can, pick up your knee, holding in front or behind, lifting up nice and tall, and start to circle your foot. You can always use a bit of furniture for support. Circle one way, you can see lots of feet moving, <laughs> and around the opposite way. Beautiful. And then lower the foot down, seeing how that feels balance-wise. So it might just be lifting the left heel and just moving on the ball of the foot. Or again, picking up the knee. If you've got to lean forward to find your knee, lift up nice and tall. And then move your ankle. So knee to chest rather than chest to, to knee there. And then the other way. Beautiful. So seeing how your balance is will dictate how far you go in this next one. So knowing you can keep the ball of the foot on the floor, let's come back to the top of the mat and bring the hands together at the hearts. Okay, here we go. So let's take an inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, I'm gonna come into that ski. So come into that little chair pose and sweep the arms back. 
This time as you inhale, rise up and just pick up your right heel, just the right heel lifts. And then lower the heel, ski jump your way back. Lovely. Left heel lifts, take an inhale, reaching high. And exhale to lower. And I know you can stay here, or this time as you inhale, pick up the right knee. A little bit more balance required. And as you exhale, come all the way back down, left knee. Or just pick up the heel, see how you feel today. And then release, it's all good. We're gonna do one more each way. So a little transfer of weight. Waking up through the core. See if you can just pause at the top. Just again, creating a little bit of balance there before we come down. Okay, right knee or heel lift. So we're gonna lift on up and then stepping back into your high lunge. So you always bring your hands to your hips for a moment to find your balance. Little bend in that back knee, shoulders above your hips. Beautiful. We're going to reach the arms up, straighten the legs, take an inhale. And as you exhale, soften the knees, sweep the arms down, try and keep the body upright. So inhale, straighten the legs, arrow the arms up, up, up. And exhale, a little softness in the knees once more. So inhale, rise up nice and tall, find that balance. And exhale, bend the knees, keep the knees bent. We're going to sweep the arms up. Again, interlace the hands behind your head. Draw the elbows back, lift the chest, maybe lift, lift your gaze. That requires a little bit more balance there. Beautiful, reaching the arms up, take an inhale. Exhale, frame your foot. Stepping back into your plank as you inhale, exhaling, knees down, chest down, down onto your belly. Now, either coming into your sphinx or this time hands under shoulders, we're gonna find a cobra or coming into your sphinx pose. Look over your right shoulder, take an inhale. And as you exhale, lower all the way down. Sphinx or cobra, inhale, looking over left shoulder. And exhale, come all the way down. One more each way. So you can always come back to that little sphinx pose we did at the beginning or join me in a little cobra. All the way down. Let's look over that left shoulder one last time. Shoulders away from the ears, pelvis heavy. Beautiful. Inhaling back onto all fours. And exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips down with dog, or have a little pause in a child pose if you wish. If you're joining me in that downward dog, find a moment of stillness and take a couple of nice deep breaths. Sending the hips up and back, pressing your hands forwards and down, finding that length through the back and the sides of the body. And then looking forwards, as you inhale, step your right foot forwards. And as you exhale, left foot joins it, top of the mat. Rise on an inhale. And exhale, bring the hands down to your heart. Beautiful, take a nice deep breath in. And a nice deep breath out. We're gonna try that on the other side. So reaching the arms up, take an inhale. Find that little ski jump as you exhale, sweep the arms back. Left heel or knee lifts, rising up, take an inhale. And exhale back down into our ski jump. On the right side, so building up a little bit of strength there. And release, let's do one more each way. So again, you might just be lifting your heel, that's absolutely fine this morning. Balance might be a little bit stronger and you're lifting your knee. So wherever you are, let's lift that left knee this time and pause, building up a little bit of strength. And then hands coming to hips, let's step the left leg back. So if it's wibbly wobbly, you can always lower the back knee, but feet hip width apart on train tracks there, and we're not leaning forwards, we're drawing the weight back. Lovely, release the arms. Let's take them up, straighten the legs, take an inhale. And as you bend the knees, just release the arms. Keep the body nice and upright, power up, take an inhale. And then release, exhale, that's it, beautiful guys. You can always forget the arms and just work the legs. Let's keep the knees bent, you're gonna power the arms up, interlace the hands, you can always drop your chin forwards now to find the back of the head, but then we'll lift the head, draw the elbows back. And if you want to get that little challenge, allow your gaze to lift up towards the sky, pulling the elbows back, Ooh, a little bit of balance there. Lovely, let's reach the arms up, take an inhale. 
and swim them down as you exhale. Find your plank, breathing in. Shifting the weight forwards and down, you can keep your knees lifted or lowered your yoga's choice. Finding your cobra or your sphinx, looking over your right shoulder, taking an inhale. And exhale to lower. Looking over your left shoulder. So we're keeping that lovely leg through the chest and the neck. As we do that one more time, so if a cobra is unavailable today, you can always do that sphinx pose we did at the beginning. Let's look over that left shoulder one last time. And slowly release. Beautiful. Push back all fours. This time for a moment, let's all take a child pose. Bottom to heels, reaching the arms forwards, maybe even resting your head on your hands if you just need to bring the floor a little closer to you today. Take a moment to find that connection with your breath there. Lovely. And then when you're ready, joining me on all fours and back up into your downward dog or quite happily stay on all fours, no problem. So again, let's make our way to the top of the mat. So looking forwards on an inhale, step your left foot forward this time and exhale, right foot joins it. Let's rise up on an inhale. Hands coming down to heart. Exhale, beautiful. Take a nice deep breath in and a nice deep breath out. Beautiful. So I just turn around to face you now. We're going to keep the feet hip width apart and take the arms up, turning the palms forwards. So left hand is going to catch hold of your right wrist or forearm. Now reach up on an inhale and over into a lovely side bend as you exhale. Just bumping the hips over to the side. Oh, beautiful, up through the middle. And then we'll swap sides. I know you've lo you're losing my arms there, but this time right hand holding left wrist or forearm. Gorgeous, coming all the way over the top. And then release, lovely. So knowing that you can come back to that or you can keep both feet hip width apart. But if you're with me, hands to hips, we're going to cross right foot over left foot, just coming onto the ball of that underneath foot. So soften both knees. We're going to take the left arm up. And as you come over the top, gently push the hips over to the left. You can always keep both feet underneath you. Lovely. Coming all the way up. Hands to hips. We'll step both feet up. Have a little pad from side to side. And then left crosses right. So I'm on the toes of that left foot, soften the knee, left hand stays on the hip, right arm this time comes over the top and you're gently bumping the hips out to the side. Lovely, slowly release, step the feet apart, hands to hips, gorgeous. So we're going to all do this first variation together and then I'll offer a slightly more advanced version if you want. So this time right foot crosses left foot, now, if you can this time, we're going to imagine you're squeezing your inner thighs together. So actively squeeze those inner thighs together. Bring the hands to the heart. A little softness again in that front knee. And we send the hips back into a little chair pose or chair pose variation. Keep those hips and knees pointing forwards and keep the hips directly back behind you, shifting the weight from side to side. Lovely. Slowly rise up and uncross the feet. Have a little pad side to side. Left in front of right on the toes of that left foot. Squeeze the inner thighs together so no daylight between them and then send the weight back. Chest stays lifted, bottom is back. So the weight is mainly in that right foot. Right leg, let's come all the way up. Step the feet apart, have a little pad side to side. I'm gonna come Around to the top of my mat in a minute, we're going to be moving with our right leg first of all. Option one, right foot in front of left foot on the toes. Option two, right ankle hooks over left knee and we open the knee to the side. Hands to heart, so wherever you are, take an inhale. Exhale, push the bottom back. So you might be crossing at your thighs, you might have that ankle on your knee. Send those hips straight back behind you. Fix your gaze, a little bit of balance. 
Beautiful. Wherever you are, we're going to rise on up and bring that right knee to your chest. We're going to take both arms up, take an inhale. And as you exhale, step that right foot behind you, coming into your warrior two now. So taking your time to turn that right foot out, left foot forwards, and bring the arms out to the side. Beautiful. Hands come to the heart. Remember that little slicing action we did at the beginning. So straighten both legs, take an inhale. And as you exhale, slice the arms out, little fingers pull back, look over that left arm. Bending the knee, uh, straightening the legs, hands to heart, take an inhale. Bend a little deeper into that front knee as you slice the arms. Inhale to center. And exhale to slice, beautiful. Last time, inhale. This time as you exhale, we're gonna slice those arms out and pause. So check that front knee is tracking the little toe. Sink a little deeper into that front, no, front knee. Shoulders on top of hips. We'll turn that left palm up, inhale, reach forward. And as you exhale, come over the top into a lovely reverse warrior, beautiful. Inhale through the middle, back into our warrior. Forearm to thigh, into our side angle, exhale, lovely. One more time, inhale into your warrior. Exhale, come over the top, you can look up or keep the gaze forwards. Inhale through the middle, strong in those legs. Forearm to thigh, or maybe you bring the hand down a little lower towards your shin or your ankle. Beautiful, let's all re-meet in our warrior two. Hands to hips as you pivot on the toes and turn your feet forward. You can always shorten your stance if you're very wide in the legs. Draw those elbows back so you can lift your chest, take an inhale, and slowly we hinge forwards, pushing the bottom back and releasing the fingertips down to the floor. Now keep the weight back in your heels, but just walk your hands forward so you can see my chest is getting a little bit longer and my back gets nice and long, but keep pushing your hips back. Then let's look to the right hand, and as you inhale, peel that right arm up towards the sky, a little twist. And exhale, come back down to the middle. Left side reaches up, so we're getting a lovely twist through the upper back. And release. One more each way if you can. So relatively light touch with those fingertips on the floor. They shouldn't be turning blue. <laughs> Left arm lifts, take an inhale. And exhale, let's come all the way down. Beautiful. So we're going to come back the way we came. So Look towards your left foot and pivot on your feet so your, free, your hands frame that left foot, lower the hips. Left arm, let's take it up into one last beautiful twist. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, bring both hands down. Step into the top of your mat, take an inhale, and exhale to fold over the legs. Let's rise up on an inhale. Hands meet above your head. And exhale, hands coming to heart. So we try that on the other side. So it means I've got to move a little bit, so it might look a little bit awkward. So hands coming to hips. So this time, left foot, option one, crossing, bottom comes back, hands to heart, squeezing those inner thighs together. Or left ankle on right knee, so that knee is pressed open, and you send your weight back, Try not to skew your hips out to the side. Your bottom sometimes wants to wander over to the right there. So see if you can keep the hips back as you press that knee open. Just come round so I can step back into my warrior. Beautiful. Let's all raise that left knee up, reach the arms up, take an inhale, pause. Exhale, left leg steps back this time. So ready for our warrior two. So I've got the toes of the back foot turned out. Arrowing those arms out, shoulders over hips. If you can see yourself in your camera, then hands come back to your heart. Here we go. We're going to straighten the legs, take an inhale. Slice the arms, exhale, looking over your front fingertips. Inhale, drawing the hands to the heart, so pulling up through the middle. And then bending that front knee maybe a little deeper. Try again not to lean forward as we do that twice more. So shoulders stay on top of hips. We're just pulling the little fingers back again and getting that lovely stretch in the chest and the shoulders. And this time, let's keep those arms drawn out, looking over your front fingertips. A little peek maybe your front knee, just check it's tracking the little toe. And then right palm turns up, inhale, reach forwards. 
Exhale, over the top, lovely stretch in the hip. Back through the middle, we'll take an inhale. Hand or forearm to thigh as we come over the top. Lovely, inhale into your warrior, beautiful guys. Over the top, one last time, keeping that knee bent, this strong in the legs. Inhale through the middle, hand or forearm to thigh, or maybe we come down a little bit lower, if that feels good this morning. Let's all meet in our warrior two. Hands to hips, and turn of the toes forwards. Now, if you're very wide in your stance like I am, I'm gonna overbalance, so I'm just gonna shorten my stance ever so slightly. Option one, hands to hips, elbows draw back. Option two, interlace the hands behind you. Palms are open, draw the arms down, take an inhale. Exhale, we'll all hinge forwards into a forward fold. And if you've got your arms behind you, they lift up and over. If that's not for you, fingertips straight to floor. Letting the head hang, just gently reaching those arms up and over. And then hands coming down onto your low back. Let's all meet in a forward fold. Again, weight back in heels, but creep the arms forward. So chest and back are long. Right arm lifts up, take an inhale. This time as you exhale, go ahead and bring the back of your hand or your palm onto your low back. Turning your chest towards the right. Some of you might even be able to slot your right hand into the top of your left thigh crease there. Opening up through the shoulder a little bit more, whatever's available for you, keep putting the chest forwards. And then slowly, slowly release, bring the hand back underneath you. Left arm lifts this time, keep that chest pulled forward. Palm or back of hand onto your sacrum there. So you can really feel that that's nice and flat as you roll that top shoulder open. And again, some of you might be able to take that little bind, tucking your left hand into the top of your right thigh crease. Lovely, and then slowly, slowly release. So this time we're walking the hands around to frame that right foot, pivoting on the toes. Just drop the hips so again the chest is forward as we find that twist. Right arm lifts, pick up the breath, take an inhale, and exhale, release. Let's step to the top of the mat one last time as you inhale, and exhale to fold. Rise up to stand, last time take a nice deep breath in. Oh, hands coming to heart. Beautiful. There were some flying pigeons there. That was beautiful. Let's bend the knees. Inhale. Exhale all the way down. Let's come back down onto the mat. Inhale, lifting up halfway. And then stepping back into your downward dog. And from your downward dog, let's walk the feet nice and wide. Drop down onto your knees, keeping those a little wider apart so we can point the big toes together. And take a little restorative child pose before we do our final little balance. I'm going to take my elbows out to the side so I can just stack my hands. A little bit easier for my upper back there. I feel my chest just melting down towards the floor. A couple of nice easy breaths there. Beautiful, guys. And if this feels good, feel free to take as long as you want in this child pose. Just staying there. Maybe enjoying a little rest. Or if you want to finish off with that little balance with me, coming back onto all fours. I'm going to tuck the toes under, walk your hands back towards your knees, and continue now to lift your knees up so you're in a little squat at the back of your mat. If that doesn't work for you, come straight up into a forward fold. If you can hold that squat for a moment, tuck your chin in, and just let the weight of the heels dropping down. Give a little stretch to the Achilles the backs of the calves there. And then we'll all slowly push the hips up. So we'll all end up in that forward fold at the back of the mat. And then slowly roll your way up to stand. Sweep the arms all the way out and up. And then hands coming down to heart, beautiful. So we're gonna do our last little balance. We've done a lot to open the shoulders and the chest and a little bit of balance. So we're gonna try a dancer pose. One of my favorite poses but you can always use the wall so if you want to face the wall and have something to hold on to feel free so we'll all do a little variation to start with before we come into that final pose i'll come around to face you so i'm going to raise your left arm up towards the sky and i'm going to connect my thumb and my first finger 
said to help help with balance so i'll take with whatever's going <laughs> whatever help i need and then just pick up your right heel so left arm and right heel that might be more than enough or maybe you pick up your right heel so you're balanced on one leg and if you want that final pose turn your right palm to face forwards so if you can reach back and catch the inside of your foot so your big toe is against your thumb and then lower that left arm level with your shoulder we begin to reach forwards pushing your foot into your hand your hand into your foot so i'm not dipping my chest i'm looking forwards not down reaching forwards find your edge so if you can pause there just for a moment pushing foot into hand hand into foot and then equally slowly can you find your way back up and find your way back down so you can always just lift your foot oh how did that go should we try it on the other side so connect thumb and first finger of right hand arm lifts reach up opposite heel left heel that might be your dancer's pose today you're still beginning to build up balance or again you might just bobble your foot you might bring your heel a little further up turn your left palm forwards see if you can reach back to catch the inside of the foot so your big toe is lining up with your thumb and then lower that arm so it's just level with my chest and I begin to reach forward. So there's a counterbalance, I lift the back leg. So you can see my chest isn't dipping, it's a little back bend, it's quite a big back bend, pushing foot into hand, hand into foot. And then equally slowly, my little dancers, we elegantly find our way back. And really sweep the arms up, take an inhale. And as you exhale, let it go, forward fold, whatever happened, whatever wibbles we had, it's gone, reaching up, taking an inhale. Hands coming down to hearts, beautiful. Let's roll down through the spine, coming back down into our forward fold. Hand your way forwards onto all fours, so we'll lower the knees down, this time bringing the knees and the ankles together. We'll swish the feet round to one side, so you can drop your hips down. Oh, we've done some challenges today and switch the legs out in front of you. Well done, team. Let's have a little bounce of the knees. Now, knowing if your hamstrings are really tight, that's a lovely option to a forward fold, holding on around the backs of the legs. Get up for a little bit more. We'll reach the arms up, take an inhale. And exhale, try and keep your upper arms by your ears for as long as you can and then release the arms down. Maybe you can find your feet. Maybe the hands are just on your thighs or your shins. And if you can comfortably find your feet, you might cross at the wrists. Take hold of the outside edges of your feet and gently pull the outside of your feet back towards you. And bring the body down over the legs. Easing your way down there. Breathing into the back of the body. And slowly, slowly, we'll come all the way back up. Let's bring the right heel in towards your groin and just allow that right knee to open out to the side. So that left leg is stretched out in front of you, reaching the arms up, taking an inhale. And again, as you exhale, maybe crossing at the wrist, you can take hold of your thigh, your shin, or your foot as you come straight over that extended leg, giving a nice stretch out through the back of the body, the back of that left leg. and slowly slowly releasing keeping that right heel where it is but take that left leg out more on a diagonal you might need to adjust your hips so so slightly left hand on your thigh or your shin or if you can keep your chest lifted hook your big toe with your first two fingers just take that right arm up and over now if that's paining you you can always swap the hand behind your low back and roll that shoulder open or you're keeping the chest lifted. So chest is facing me. If you're rolling towards the floor, bring that underneath hand a little bit higher up so you can keep your chest beautifully open. Lovely. Let's come all the way back up. Hands come down in front of you now. Now keep those left toes pointing up towards the sky. Keep your bottom on the floor 
and we take a little hinge forward. So we might not go very far, far before our bottom starts to lift. Have a little cheeky look at those toes, make sure they're not doing anything except pointing up towards the ceiling as you ease the body forward. So a nice stretch in the inner thigh, but keep the weight even across your sit bones. The temptation is that left buttock will out. Lovely. We'll come all the way back up. Right hand comes down by the side of the body, point the toes, sweep the left arm in front of the face. Option to pick up your hips if that feels nice this morning. And then lower all the way down. Lean into your hands so you can give those legs a little shake, shake in front of you. And then go ahead and bring your left heel in and let that knee roll over. You can always pop something nice underneath your knee if it feels a little uncomfortable there. Squaring yourself up, take an inhale. And exhale, let's come down over that extended leg. So again, you can cross your wrists. Ease your way down there. Drawing the body gently forwards. So trying not to dip one shoulder down, so you've got a nice levelness across your upper back. I feel myself cheating a bit there suddenly. And then we'll come all the way up. So heel stays where it is, but we just take the right leg out. So again, you might need to adjust your hips slightly. Right hand, wherever it feels comfortable and where you can feel your chest lifted. And then left arm comes up and over. Again, you can always get rid of it if it's uncomfortable on the shoulder to extend the arm across the top of your head. Lovely, lovely side bend there. And then up through the middle, bring your tips to the floor, toes stay pointing up towards the ceiling, and we take that little hinge forward. So again, you might not come down very far before our bottom starts to lift or those toes start to do all sorts of funny things. So, only come as far as you can keep that lovely balance across your sit bones and the toes pointing up towards the sky. Lovely. Roll our way back up. Last one, left hand, just by your hip, point the toes, right arm sweeps in front of the face. Go ahead and push your hips forwards and up if that feels good. And then we'll come all the way down. Give those legs a little shake. And then bending your knees, ease your way down onto your backs. First time we put down on our backs. And give those knees a squeeze. Oh, it's nice to get up to the floor. Hey, have a little massage there, a little rock, have a little roll, maybe a circle of your knees. And then bring both hands onto your right knee so you can just bring your left foot down to the floor there. That knee, little squeeze, and then release a few times, just getting into the back of the leg. Then holding on around the back of that leg, let's take the right leg up towards the sky. So as you extend into a hamstring stretch with your foot flex, just relax your shoulders, soften your face. And if it feels okay this morning, slide the other leg out long. All 10 toes are nice and active there, putting back towards your face. Lovely. Let's bring that right knee back in towards your chest. Straighten that left leg if you've not already done so, ready for a twist. Left hand onto your right knee. And let's bring that right knee across the body there. So you can just bring that underneath arm, that right arm a little bit higher up towards your shoulder level if that feels nice, or just rest it down that side of the body. Lovely. Rolling onto your back, right knee to chest. And then bring that left knee to join it. Again, have a little rock, have a little roll. And then right foot to the floor, so the knees pointing up towards the ceiling. Just squeeze and release that left knee a few times. A little stretch there. And then coming into your hamstring stretch. So again, just relax in your upper body as you push the heel up towards the sky. Drop the weight into the back of your hips there so you're not lifting your bottom off the floor. Maybe extend the opposite leg if that feels good this morning. All of the toes pulling back towards your face there. And then go ahead and hug that left knee. Stretch the right leg out in front of you if you've not done so. Right hand on the knee this time. Begin that little twist, draw the leg across the body. 
Don't worry if your shoulder blade lifts or if the knee doesn't quite touch the floor. And then we'll roll onto our backs one last time. Bring both knees back in towards your chest. Again, you can have a little circle, have a little rock. And then we'll bring the feet to the floor. Option one, knees stay bent, feet go nice and wide and your knees prop against each other. Or stretch one leg out, stretch the other leg out. Maybe have a little roll across your heels. And then find a nice comfortable position where you might be able to relax just for a few minutes, uninterrupted. I'm just gonna come up to seated so I can talk to you a little bit more comfortably. Ah, that's been a spring in our step. So as you find a moment of stillness now, take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just allow the back body to relax, to gratefully accept now the support of the floor beneath you. As you're lying on your back, just really appreciating and noticing the wonderful architecture of your spine, which in most people is a gentle S shape. So noticing which parts of the back of your body are resting easily on the floor. Back of the pelvis, space between your shoulder blades, the middle of the back of your head. And then notice all those parts of the back body where there's space between the body and the floor. Maybe around your lower back, just above the waistband of your trousers. Back of the neck, a beautiful gentle arch of the back of the neck. It's a lovely quote by Wanda Scarabelli, a yoga teacher. Said your doing is old, but your spine is supple. <laughs> so the more that we can keep our backs in good health, our spine supple by moving gently, the better we are equipping ourselves for good posture and good health. When you feel comfortable, just start to deepen and lengthen your breath now. Bringing a little bit of movement, rolling the head softly side to side, just stretching gently into the sides of the neck, a wiggle of your fingers and toes. And let's all have a delicious full body stretch to finish. So reach the arms back above your head, stretch the legs out. Oh, and all that lovely space you've created. Put your toes, you flex your feet, you have a little bit of a wiggle there. You can play for with it. And then lower your arms. I see someone's feet by the screen, <laughs> little toes waving at me. Bring your knees in towards your chest so you can have one last big hug. And then roll gently to one side where there's space around you in the room. Lovely. Come up to seated when you're ready. Hands on the knees, maybe in your lap, and just feel again that lovely length of the spine. We haven't got the floor to give us that feedback, but again, imagine you've got something against your spine, so we're not trying to flatten the back. We're keeping all of those beautiful arches that you felt. The breastbone is lifted, the shoulders are soft, the chin very gently tucked in, sort of thrusting the chin forwards. I'll leave you with these lovely words by the comedian Lucille Ball. And she said, the secret to staying young is to live honestly, eat slowly, and lie about your age. 
<laughs> all else fails bring the hands together at your heart drop your chin down towards your chest and as you inhale sweep the arms out and up and as you exhale bring the hands to the heart and remember for the rest of the week walk with a spring in your step and look forwards and namaste thank you look up rather than down lovely lovely i love that quote thank you thank you